Hi, my name is Marcia Duarte, and in the next minutes, I would like to present you the story of the Helmholtz Center for Infection Research that this year, 2015, completes 50 years. It's currently focused in infection research and combines basic research and medical applications. It holds a budget of more than 53 million euros and claims several patents and hundreds of publications per year in high-ranking magazines. It employs almost 1,000 people of different professional backgrounds and promotes several junior scientists, more than 150 postgrads and many laboratory pupils. The HDI campus is quite big, but it was not always like this. To tell you the story from its beginning, I need you to join me in a time travel. So get in Doctor Who time machine and let's go to a time of great discoveries. A golden decade for molecular biology that started with the model for the structure of DNA proposed by Watson and Crick back in 53. In Germany, the rise of this research branch comes together with a center initiated by Hans Herloff in Höfen, with its first laboratory set up in what is today the A building. And so is born the IMB, Institute of Molecular Biology, Biochemistry and Biophysics. In 77, Eintracht Braunschweig becomes the football champion and in 68, the IMB is turned into GMBF the German Research Center for Molecular Biology. In 69, while man reaches the moon for the first time, back on planet Earth, Sanger sequencing is happening, the first mobile phones become available, and the first Volkswagen Golf is in the streets. In 75, the campus of GMBF is growing, now counting with three more buildings, B, K and F. Maria Regina Kula is appointed as scientific executive manager of the center, being the first woman to direct a major research facility in Germany. She has also been responsible for the development of the enzyme membrane reactor, a brilliant concept that is still used in industry these days. Applied biotechnology becomes then the main focus of the center, then in 76 is renamed to GBF. German Center for Biotechnology. In the year that a very famous movie arrives in the cinemas, the first public relations office in the center is founded, with the major aim of communicating with media. In 78, the energy building is ready, and one year later, the German collection of microorganisms, DSMZ, previously located in Göttingen, was relocated into the GBF campus as an independent working unit. In the following years, compact discs are available in the world. PCR is invented. And we meet the first personal computers. In 85, in the GBF, epothelone was isolated from mixobacteria and its structure was elucidated by a dream team of scientists, Gerhard Höfler and Hans Reichenbach. The strong effect of epothelone against breast and colon tumor cells gathered lots of attention and interest, but it was only patent some years later. Meanwhile, in 86, Sorafen, also isolated from mixobacteria at the GBF, showed great potential as an effective pesticide against fungi. But due to unwanted side effects, further development was stopped. Between 86 and 87, DSMZ gets its independent physical facility. And the GBF campus continues to grow, as N and D buildings also appear. But besides buildings, there's also art in the campus. Have you ever wondered about the colorful metal structure in front of the building? Well, that's a beautiful representation of an antibody. Before reaching the 90s, Y building is also ready. And in 1990, German reunification occurs. In the early 90s, Linux reaches our computers. And in 1992, the first Christmas party occurs at the D building with the famous champagne bar at the elevator. And in the following year, the R building is ready. Around the globe, the race for the sequencing of the first bacterial genome is starting. 
and this race was won by Haemophilus influenzae back in 1995. In the same year, GBF joins the Human Genome Project with Helmut Blocher from GBF as the German coordinator of this massive worldwide project. Also, in 95, the corporate sports program begins at the GBF with a football team of passionate players and fund that promotes the team spirit at the center. In the following years across the globe, Dolly the Sheep is cloned and at the GBF, the campus continues its expansion with the first animal facility, the tea building. Then the Forum, Red in 2000, and then the Grunen Zentrum in 2001. It is also in this year that the first draft of the human genome is accomplished. In times where the euro becomes the currency in 19 European countries, Wikipedia appears in our computer screens and iPods play music around the world. In 2005, GBF has a new entrance site through the Inhofenstrasse, a street that pays homage to one of the founders of the center. 2006 is a very significant year in the history of the center, as it is renamed to Helmholtz Center for Infection Research. Rudy Balling, the director at the time, played a crucial role in the center renaming and in the realignment of the research focus, now in infection research. In 2007, there is the grand opening of the Schloss Arkaden in Braunschweig, and in 2008, a second animal facility was built, being one of the most advanced in Europe. In the same year, Twin Quarry is founded, a center that combines basic research and clinical practice to elucidate what happens during chronic infections caused by bacteria, viruses, and fungi. In 2009, the Hadzeri and the University of Saarland joined forces to found the Helmholtz Institute for Pharmaceutical Research Saarland, what we know by HIPS, which aims the development of new drugs and therapeutic options for infection diseases in times where the resistance to antibiotics is one of the major global concerns. In the same year, the HZI Graduate School is founded. Each year, 40 doctoral students from all over the world start here their doctoral thesis. Currently, there are 150 doctoral students working in the campus. In the last five years, the campus did not stop growing. VC building is ready in 2010, and in the following year, the construction of the S3 lab facilities that allow scientists to work with highly virulent pathogens was accomplished, as well as the D2 building, that comprises several offices and seminar rooms were ready. In 2012, the German Center for Infection Research, DZAF, is one of the six major research associations in health sciences in Germany. With a business office located at the HZI campus and 300 scientists from 35 institutions, DZAF works hard to answer burning questions in health research. In 2013, first experiments take place in S3 building, and 2014 is the year of the last two recent buildings to be ready, Q and W. And we're back to 2015, in which the Hazard era celebrates its jubilee. I hope you enjoy this little travel in time. For me, it was a pleasure to share this story with you. Get your picture with the big blue 50 and continue to enjoy this celebration. Thank you.